वेलकम बैक टू अर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर टू दैट इज पॉलिनोम सो स्टार्टिंग विद द फिफ्थ एंड द लास्ट एक्सरसाइज दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज यू सुटेबल आइडेंटिटी टू फाइंड द फॉलोइंग प्रोडक्ट सो पार्ट वन से इज एक्स प्लस फोर एंड एक्स प्लस टेन सो एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर प्लस टेन इंटू एक्स प्लस फोर इंटू टेन विच विल गिव यू एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर्टीन एक्स प्लस that is how we have solved it we have used the identity that is x plus a and x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus ab moving to our second part which says x plus 8 and x minus 10 so x square plus 8 minus 10 x plus 8 into minus 10 that is again by using the same identity that is x plus a and x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus ab so we will get the answer as x square minus 2x minus 80 moving to a third part which says 3x plus 4 3x minus 5 so again by applying the same identity that is x plus a x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus ab so our answer will be 9x square minus 3x minus 20 moving to our fourth part which says y square plus 3 by 2 y square minus 3 by 2 now again y square whole square minus 3 by 2 whole square that will give you y 4 minus 9 4 we have used the identity that is a plus b and a minus b will give you a square minus b square moving to our fifth part which says 3 minus 2x and 3 plus 2x so again applying the same identity that is a plus b and a minus b will give us a square minus b square that is 9 minus 4x square moving to our second question which says evaluate the following products without multiplying directly so our first part says 103 into 107 so we can have it 103 as 100 plus 3 and 107 as 100 plus 7 that is x plus a and x plus b will give you x square plus a plus b into x plus ab by applying this formula we can have our answer as 110 21 Moving to our second part, which says ninety-five into ninety-six, we can write ninety-five as hundred minus five and ninety-six as hundred minus four. Now here we have to apply the same identity that is x plus a and x plus b always gives us x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. So our answer will be nine one two zero. Moving to our third part, which says hundred and four into ninety-six, so hundred and four we can write it as hundred plus four and ninety-six we can write it as hundred minus four. So applying the formula that is x plus b and x plus a will give you a square minus b square that is nine nine eight four. Moving to our third question which says find using appropriate identities. So first part says nine x square plus six x y plus y square. So how we have to solve it? First of all we have to take nine x as three x bracket whole square plus two into three x into y plus y square. That is a square plus a two ab plus b square always gives us a plus b whole square. So we can find it as three x plus y whole square. Moving to our second part, which says four y square minus four y plus one. So by solving and applying the formula, that is a square minus two ab plus b square always gives us a minus b whole square. So our answer will be two y minus one whole square. Moving to our third part, which says x square minus y square divided by hundred. So x square minus y upon ten whole square will give you x plus y upon ten x minus y upon ten. That is, we have applied the formula that is a a square minus b square will gives us a plus b and a minus b. Moving to our fourth question, which says expand each of the following using identities. So our first part says a plus two y plus four z ka whole square. So in this we have to apply a plus b plus c whole square formula. That is a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two ca. By applying this formula, we will get the answer as a square plus four y square plus sixteen z square plus four xy plus sixteen yz plus four zx. Moving to our second part, which says two x minus y plus z whole square. Again, applying the same formula, that is a plus b plus c whole square will gives us a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two ca. 
By applying this, we will find the answer as 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 4zx. Moving to our third part which says minus 2x plus 3y plus 2z ka whole square. Again applying the same formula, we will find our answer as 4x square plus 9y square plus 4z square minus 12xy plus 12yz minus 8zx. Moving to our fourth part which says 3a minus 7b minus c whole square. So 3a whole square plus minus 7b whole square plus minus c whole square plus 2 into 3a into minus 7b plus 2 into 7 minus 7b into minus c plus 2 into minus c into 3a. That is we have applied the same formula a plus b plus c whole square which will give us a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So by applying this we will find the answer as 9a square plus 49b square plus c square minus 42ab plus 14bc minus 6ca. Moving to our fifth question which says factorize. So 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square plus 12xy minus 24yz minus 16xz. So again applying the same formula that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca will gives us a plus b whole square. By solving it we will get 2x square plus 3y whole square plus minus 4z whole square plus 2 into 2x into 3y plus 2 into 3y into minus 4z plus 2 into minus 4z into 2x. That will give you 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square. Moving to our second part which says 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 root 2yz minus 8xz. So again solving it and applying the formula that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca will gives us a plus b plus c whole square. So by applying this we will get the answer as root 2x minus y minus 2 root 2x ka whole square. Moving to our sixth question which says write the following cubes in expanded form. So part 1 says 2x plus 1 whole cube. So 2x whole cube plus 1 cube plus 3 into 2x whole square into 1 plus 3 into 2x into 1 whole square. That is a plus b whole cube will gives us a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So by applying this we will get the answer as 8x cube plus 1 plus 12x square plus 6x. Moving to our second part which says 2a minus 3b whole cube. Again applying the same formula that is a plus b whole cube will gives us a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So by applying this formula we will get the answer as 8a cube minus 27b cube minus 36a square b plus 54ab square. Moving to our third part which says 3 upon 2x plus 1 ka whole cube. So again 3 upon 2x ka whole cube plus 1 cube plus 3 into 3 by 2x whole square into 1 plus 3 into 3 upon 2x into 1 whole square. So this applying this formula that will give you 27 upon 8x cube plus 1 plus 27 upon 4x square plus 9 upon 2x. Moving to our fourth part which says x minus 2 upon 3y whole cube. Again applying the same formula that is a plus b whole cube which will give us a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ap square. Our answer will be x cube minus 8 upon 27y cube minus 2x square y plus 4 upon 3xy square. Moving to our seventh question which says evaluate the following using suitable identities. So part one says 99 ka whole cube. So 99 whole cube with, we can write it as 100 minus 1 whole cube. By applying the formula that is a plus b whole cube will give us a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So by solving it we will get the answer as 970299. Moving to our second part which says 102 whole cube. So 102 we can write it as 100 plus 2. By applying the formula that is a plus b whole cube will give us a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So by applying this identity we can have it our answer as 1061208. Moving to our third part which says 998 whole cube. Now 998 we can write it as 1000 minus 2 
whole cube. So again by applying the same formula that is a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So by applying this formula we will have it as 1000 cube plus minus 2 cube plus 3 into 1000 square minus 2 plus 3 into 1000 into minus 2 whole square. So this will give us by solving it we will have 9940111992. Moving toward 8 question which says factorize each of the following. So in this we have to factorize that is part 1 says 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square. How we can solve it as by applying the same formula that is a plus b whole cube. So a that is 2a whole cube plus b that is b cube plus 3 into a square b that is 3 into 2a square plus into b plus 3 a b square that is 3 into 2a into b square which will give you 2a plus b whole cube. Moving to our second part which says 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square. So 2a whole cube plus minus b cube plus 3 into 2a whole square minus b plus 3 into 2a minus b whole square which will give us 2a minus b whole cube. Moving to our third part which says 27 minus 125a cube minus 135a plus 225a square. By applying the same identity a plus b whole cube we will get answer as 3 minus 5a ka whole cube. Moving to our fourth part which says 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square. So again solving and applying the same identity a plus b whole cube our answer will be 4a minus 3b whole cube. So guys, this is not the end of the exercise. We will continue the rest question in our next video. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Sim Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.